Got a three day special Harbor Freight 15% off coupon. Been wanting one of these Predator 3500 watt generators for a long time. So picked one up this morning. So I figured I'd do a little unboxing and see uh, see what this thing come, comes with and what it looks like. make a joke about throwing away instructions but believe it or not I actually read them here's something that that Hondas do too so if you ever have a Honda small engine the proper way to check the oil level is not thread the dipstick in just set it on the surface and then pull it back out and measure the oil level so predators are just knockoffs of Hondas so it looks like they do the same thing so put some oil in it and keep going Best line sent me some of this engine treatment a while ago with nano diamond technology. I uh, wanted to run it in the race car and try some before and after dyno testing because he said it would improve lubricity so much that it would uh, actually make more power. But I uh, figure if it's got so much protection, why not put it in the little generator? So put this in and I'll uh, finish it off with some mobile one down there. Looks like it holds 20 ounces of oil. That engine oil treatment I put in was 12 ounces, so theoretically it should need another eight ounces of this mobile one synthetic.
one of the reasons they can make these engines run so quiet is they've got so much insulation all in the box. It's pretty impressive how quiet these things are. Yeah, let's add some fuel and fire it up. This is a 95 octane ethanol free fuel that you just buy by the drum. Just a little splash of this in here. It's got a strainer here up top that probably slows how fast you can pour it in. Got some starting instructions here. Step one, turn the economy ESC switch to off. Toggle on the front panel here. Step two, turn the start knob to start. Step three, push start for up to three seconds. Connect battery inside. I don't even know. This thing's electric start. All right, let's check that out. Use the included screwdriver. I legitimately thought I was buying a full start battery. seen a little bit online that they're, I don't think it's, I'm not sure if it's a Harbor Freight or just another aftermarket company, but there are remote start kits for these. It'd be kind of handy to have if you have it plugged, have like your RV plugged into this and you just wake up in the morning, don't want to go outside in the cold, you just want to hit the starter button and have power for a you know, 120 volt coffee maker or something, something like that. But I'm not entirely sure what I'll be using this for the most. Starting instructions, turn the economy switch to off. There, it's a toggle. 
turn the start knob to start. Push the start button for up to three seconds or pull the handle. that it comes with that little plug right there 12 volt 8 amp max so it looks like you could alligator clip some batteries charge some charge a car battery or something like that it's pretty nice to have a 12 volt feature it's a 30 amp plug talks about a total of uh, 25 amps so I guess you could put 25 amps in your RV with this off the 30 amp circuit if you wanted to run two of these in parallel you could probably buy a parallel kit went ahead and added a couple of loads we got the bandsaw running we got the belt sander running on 121 volts 17.4 amps. Still not sure what that, that actually means. I'm not going to look that up. Been running for 10 minutes. Right now I've got it plugged into the RV, of course inside the air conditioning is on 7.8 amps it's drawn to run the AC it's only got 20 minutes on this thing but it's good around the microwave around the air conditioning it seems to be no big deal for it one of the things I really wanted to do with the generator was be able to weld I've got this little weld pack 100 so right now I've got it plugged in the camera on the tripod see how uh, see how it welds about as good as that welder does anyway it doesn't freak out well it's pretty clean so call that a win first impression of the predator 3500 converter generator from hover Freight is good it's got 35 minutes of runtime on it i ran my bandsaw and my belt sander at the same time no issues. I think it showed about 17 amp draw for both of those. Then I ran my Lincoln Weld Pack 100 welder on it, and no issues there. Seemed to run just fine. So I let it let it run, like I said, for about 30 minutes with and without load. And then figured I'd shut it off, uh, give it a break, and give it a looks over, and then just start putting it through its its paces. But it's got a 90 day warranty out of the box. So my goal is to try and uh, work real hard in the first 90 days. I figure if it lasts 90 days, it'll probably last nine years. Happy with it so far? Go get yourself one.